Hello everyone, welcome to this third part of our tutorial on how to develop microservices applications using Node.js. And in this lesson, we're going to develop all our book services. But before I start, I need to explain some things. Our books service will have four functionalities. A functionality to create a book, a functionality to delete a book, another functionality to list a book, and finally, another functionality to list all the books of our application, our service. This partner will be followed in each service of our application. For instance, in our customers service, we're going to have a functionality to create a customer, to delete a customer, to list a customer, and to list all the customers of our customer service. All right? So it's a partner to be followed in our application. All right? So let's get started. In here, in our book service, we're going to develop first our create functionality. All right? This create functionality will be basically a post root. I will call it of book and this root here will receive this callback. Oops, let me delete these brackets. And that's it. This is our create functionality. All right? So, to create a book, we need a reference of this book in our database. We need a model to save our book in our MongoDB database. And to create this model, we're going to use Mongoose, right? So to create a model using Mongoose to save our books in our database, we need first thing first, create a new file in our books folder. I will call this file of book.js. And here in this file, we need to load the Mongoose mod, uh, module. Mongoose require Mongoose. All right. If you don't know, a model is basically a database reference. In MongoDB, in this case, a model is a reference to a collection. All right. So basically, when we define a model using Mongoose, we define the structure of a collection to MongoDB. All right. To define a model, we just need to call Mongoose and the mo and the, the method model. This method receives two parameters. The first is the name of the collection, in my case is book. And the second parameter is the definition of the collection. Here we can define uh, inside this object, we can define attributes and fields of our books collection. Basically, a book in our application will have a title, an author, number of pages, and a publisher. So let's define these, those attributes. So let's get started defining our first attribute, our title attribute. 
To define an attribute here for your collection, you just need to create an attribute inside your JSON object, and this attribute will be another object. And inside this object here, we can define some properties for this attribute. For instance, our title attribute will be of the type of string, so its type is string, and it's required, all right? So, basically, our attribute is title, its type is string, and it is required. Let's go defining our second attribute. In this case, is alpha. The type is string, and it is required. Amazing. Amazing. So now let's define our third attribute. In this case, is the number of pages. All right. Oops, number pages in this case. Basically, the type of this attribute is number, of course, because it's a number value. And it will be required. Or better, false. It isn't required, all right? And now to finish, the last attribute is the publisher attribute. So publisher, this type is string and isn't required, all right? So that's it. So this is our book model, our book collection. And in the next lesson, we're going to develop our create function to create our first books in our database.